Hello everyone, this is V Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today's video is a craft with me and we are making the purse box from Scrap Diva Designs. Here it is right here. This is her information, scrapdivadesigns.com. On the back of this, you have all of her socials. Check her out. She has a hashtag. Check it out because there's so much inspiration from other crafters that are creating with her dies. And also, also take a look at her website because uh, you can find pictures and videos as well and get some inspiration too. So she did give a, a discount code, it's V10 if you'd like to utilize that on her website. You can save 10% through the entire website. So let's move on, you guys. Okay, so we got that taken care of. And this is the purse box here. It's an actual purse. Uh, people have been creating with this, so take a look at that. So I want to go over this with you real quick. So I have all of the, I'm gonna set this down right here. And so we could, so this is what it looks like. Here is the base. Uh, so that is the base. So right on top of the base is this, the next die over, which is that one right there. That is the lining, okay? Next one is the flap. Here is the flap right here. So it would look like that in my case. So if I reverse it, this is what it would look like. So there it is right there. For the flap, we have the lining for the, it's right here. As you can see, I prepped it already. Here is what it looks like. So much going on with this purse. And then the sides, you have the sides here. It goes like so. And then that would go right on top. Right so like that. Okay, moving on to the next is the strip here. I've already prepped it. It's right here, this long piece, which also can be used with the other dies. Uh, she has so many box dies that you can use the handle for any of those dies. So that is it. These are the sides. I completely forgot to die cut those. So I will be doing that later on and I will show you all of that. So while I wait for that, look at the slimmer, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I did use Paige Evans tutorial, how to hand stitch with embroidery thread. And as well, the same video has these knots where you uh, learn how to do this. I got this idea at putting it on shapes from Shara, her Crafty Pals, which is no longer available. Very bummed about that, but from her Crafty Pals, so. And then we have these flowers. I also put those little knots in the middle. The flowers are Scrap Diva. The centers are Scrap Diva as well. And um, added some sequins, added some of those knots. We got some butterflies, these are fussy cut. I also have leaves that I ran through my die cutting machine, my manual one. And so we got all of these butterflies going. I'm using the Flourish Collection by Maggie Holmes. It's a very, it's an older one. So these are the numbers that I'm using for the embroidery thread. 702, 716, and 740. So if you want to craft along with me, you can craft along with me. So. Um, if you don't have the Flourish collection, uh, this one right here, this pink I'm using is the Sunny Days collection. So you can mix and match. Um, just get a pink background with a busy front. And in my case, I'm using lemons and um, florals. So this is going to coral. So let's go ahead and get on into it. I'm going to go ahead and put this together really fast in fast mode. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm using hot glue too. Before I get started on that, I did want to share with you this lemon. I'm not sure if this is picking up on camera, but if you can see there's dots on the lemon, I used my alcohol markers to do those dots as well as some shading just a bit. And I did use Kelly Art markers. So whichever alcohol markers you have, just uh, run it through um, whichever paper that you're using. In my case, the yellow, I don't have it with me, but it is from, Michaels, it's the Recollections collection and in yellow. So you can go ahead, it's from the open stock aisle. So just grab a yellow that would match. Um, I like how this one looks. So I just love the leaves. These are fussy cut as well. Let me turn it over so you guys could 
kind of get a feel of what you are doing in the back and what's happening and what's going on. It's not too bad. Um, you are able to use knots. I do use hot glue to glue down the uh, start and the finish, so not too bad. The knots there, I love those. Those are amazing. So thank you, thank you to the amazing ladies, Shara and Paige. Okay, um, gluing down this, let's do okay, it. Okay, after analyzing this, I decided to do the base first and then I'm gonna add the lining later. So let's go ahead and get out all of the base um, sheets out. And, oh, I also wanted to show you what I've done here, so I stitched in yellow all of the lemons, and then I also did some paper piecing here. I, um, after stitching the pink onto the lemon paper, I decided I wanted to do this uh, crafty lift from Shara, the uh, hand tear sheets here. So I just did it on top, it's not, See, I did it on top. That's what the inner part looks like. Very messy, but not so messy. It could be messier. So I'm okay with it. All I did was just, I usually love my hot glue, but for this, I do use Barely Arts. Glued this black and white sheet down first. I All I did is to add a strip in the middle. The sides don't have glue because I don't want my sewing machine to get all tacky. So that is it. I added these right here, the uh, Crafty Lift from Shara. She does this right here. I just love it. Um, I'm losing words for that. <laughs> sequence, sequence, sewing on sequence. So I did sewing on sequence. So here we have another one. So it's going in diagonal, like there's a claw or something on it, but I just love it. Okay, so we got into that. I did the same on here at the flap. It'll be like this. And there is that piece there, a tear. So, and another sequence there. Apparently the video was not playing, so it did not film this part, what I did. So I'm gonna do it with this part. So I already have the bottom half almost done here. This is a cute little purse it's turning out. I'm also gonna glue this down here. So I'll be gluing this, and I will be gluing this down. So this, do not glue yet. On the top, this is the back. Okay, we got all that together. Let's go ahead and add the lining and glue this part. Okay, so right here is where if you're using hot glue, this is what I do for using hot glue. So I do use a clip here. And what I do, I, I start at the curve right here. I will put glue there and I'll work my way up or down, whichever way. But in my case, I'm doing this way. And then it will be all glued and I could just take this off and then add glue to the front. Let's do it. Okay, you will be hearing background noise, so this is what I have here so far. I'm gonna unclip these, and so now I'm gonna glue the front really fast here. I already have the back glued. So let's go ahead and add this flap now. It's gonna go right here. So now for the lining on the flap. So again, same deal of your clips. We're gonna start on the curve first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on the edge with this one. So once I placed the top panel down, I can see that the edge is the best place to glue.
And let's go ahead and add everything else. What's left here is the strap. So I'm gonna glue the strap the same way in pieces. I'm gonna add this Velcro piece to in the middle. So all done here. It opens and closes now, so, and it gets, it's secured. I like to wear this down <laughs> so it doesn't tear. Okay, as far as the handle, I decided to do a backing. So, so far I do have that, the top layer glued. There is the base. Now if I turn it over, the back side is not double-sided pattern paper. So I'm gonna use this one right here. This one isn't double-sided as well. So all I'm gonna do is glue it to the back here. So once we curve this, we'll have a double-sided color. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. All glued down, it's just one side. I did add my clips here, so I'm just gonna take those off and we're gonna see what it looks like. Lining is loose, the base is loose, and then the bottom base is loose as well. So I'm gonna glue that once I get one side on so I'm not sure if I'm putting this side on the right or the left but this is the side I'm going to put on first and then I'm going to start to hot glue this top handle um, I do it in portions because I am using hot glue if you're using barely arts or liquid glue uh, you probably don't have to do that um, the hot glue if I glue it flat like this I won't be able to curl it so <laughs> This is the reason I have to go the extra steps, but I'm fine with it because I, I like the filling of the thickness. I'm ready to add the straps now. I took off the clips and I'm gonna add some brads right here. And I also wanna show you the, here's the die. It comes with uh, this piece here. It looks like this right here. So all I did is I doubled up on it. There it is, so I did do two. So this is gonna hold the handle doubled up on it because this is not double-sided paper. I think I'm gonna do it this way this way like that I like that best I'm gonna add these brads here they're originally for Michaels they come in white I did paint them so I'm just gonna add it there I was gonna add some flowers these are scrap diva designs I'm gonna show you those flowers in a bit here so you get multiple flowers I will have it linked below I did use these for Christmas so now I'm gonna use it here for this project and have will definitely be using this for spring as well uh, my spring crafting so um, I'm gonna go ahead and see what I could do with this and I will get back to you I'm not sure exactly what but you will see the process and then I could describe what happened in a bit Okay, so what I did here is I did punch out a hole using this hole puncher from Hobby Lobby. You could use your crocodile as well, but I thought this one was best because it was a lot smaller. And so I just cut it, I measured it, I used a pencil to mark where I wanted my hole, added my brad for both sides. So there it is, now it swivels as well now. So um, the purse doesn't fully open with this handle straight up you would have to move it down then open it but um that's what the brads look like there you can also double on the paper if your uh, pattern paper isn't double sided so now for the fun part i get to decorate i get to add some charms and let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna start off with this lemon here i forgot to mention this lemon is another die cut from my stash i will have that linked below so um, we definitely need some lemon die cuts from Scrap Diva. So 
Uh, maybe she could provide that for us, hint, hint. <laughs> I'm going to add this leaf right here. Um, I like it like that. And then this leaf here, these leaves are also Maggie Holmes Flourish. Um, so it's, I, but I thought it was time to use this paper up because I do have a lot of it. I have lots of chipboard too. I think I have three, two or three. And so I need to start using. And so I'm gonna add it like this. Add my Scrap Diva flowers right on there. Um, the blossoms are pink because the patterned paper has them in pink. Uh, otherwise I would do them white, but uh, since it's pink, we're gonna do pink. So this is what it would look like now. So let's go ahead and do that. I have it all decorated. Everything is all set the way I wanted. I have a bit of a little mess here. We're gonna clean up. While I was gluing this lemon down, I took a glimpse of this and forgot. We forgot, or I forgot to add that there. So definitely we'll be adding this. Okay, the butterfly I think is all we have to glue down. So I did add some leaves here. This is a die again from my stash. This die belongs to this lemon. Um, however, I wanted to do the fussy cutting, so I did add it over here. I needed some more leaves, and the other leaves from the collection weren't working. They were just too big. So I added these here. I went ahead and stitched my butterfly in pink, and I'm going to add it right here on the top. So let's go ahead and do that, but before I do that, I do want to add it on a small pop dot. So let's go ahead and add that. I'm going to attempt to use this. I'm very new at this, so uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm going to do some holes on here, and this is going to determine if I'm going to have to do this all over again. So as soon as I poke holes here, it's game over after this. So wish me luck. Uh, here we go. I got very lucky. I did it, oh my goodness. You have no idea practice I did here and ruined a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some more. I'm gonna add some charms. It's gonna look great. Also gonna add these. I hope I don't forget. <laughs> all done. I punched out all of my holes, added my eyelets in, added some charms. And also made some flowers. So um, we have little flower charms here made out of paper, the cardstock. And I just want to go over them. So these little flowers are, again, by Scrap Diva Designs, little miniature dies. I just love them. I had more. I didn't know what I was going to go for, but I ended up doing this here. Let's go ahead and take a look. I did add the buckle here for the holder. So I did that off camera. I added the eyelets. Here is a charm, butterfly charm from Amazon. I did the uh, the florals here as well. I did another one here. There's two. So all I did was just add some sequins, add some diamond dots to the middle, as well as some yellow twine. And I have some on the sides of the handle. I wanted to add it all over here. But the florals would have just taken over. It would have been uh, too much floral for uh, the theme, which is uh, lemons. So uh, the butterflies there. So on this side, we have some sequins here. There is the buckle there. Another floral piece here with a butterfly. There it is. And here's the wallet. So if you grab the wallet, you can add it to the back of the purse and it will become a pocket. So you could have it 3D as a pocket um, or like a box pocket. 
or you could just snip off this piece right here so snip snip right there and add it as a flat pocket to the back so it would just be flat like so and just the top would be open so that is a great idea as well had it upside down but definitely a great idea and uh, you could add some more embellishments to the back it's the following day and I ended up going with a wallet on the back of this purse so I want to share with you what I've done already I did add extra sequins on the butterfly as well as the sleeve here I also added some extra sequins to the uh, to the purse as you can see on that leaf there um, I also added some on the bottom on the sides I love these flowers and um, let's go ahead and look at the back so I'm gonna turn this around I'm trying to keep it in camera so I'm gonna turn it around and as you can see here in the back this is the wallet that I was uh, mentioning earlier in the video and this wallet is also scrap diva designs so here's the wallet here it comes with the box it also comes with some layering pieces and so this would be like some note taking if you wanted to do like a little note there it also comes the base here's the base and the back is the layering pieces it also comes with the flap that's not here but it's just like the uh, purse flap so um, it, it would look like this right here the flap so uh, yeah I just I added some uh, farmer pieces here just for decorative purse purposes but if you want you could add some a bag topper in here so to make it look elaborate added this butterfly along with some sequins added this uh, flower here as a charm and let's go ahead and get into it so I'm going to take these flowers out and just for an idea of what you could put in I just all I have is a bag topper in here that I made and it's a very eclectic one so I just have it there I just love how it looks so you could add shred put your bag topper in there add some shred and pull this out and it's such an interactive piece as well so here's my bag topper I always once I'm done with my projects I always put them in bags because I don't want any dust to get on them or get damaged but I made a very uh, eclectic a bag topper very chunky I think I went a little overboard <laughs> very overboard and uh, I used also scrap diva designs heart circle dies um, it, it's similar to a doily but so it looks like that I believe I have it here I do have it here so um, this one is a, another staple that I will be using a lot of so um, if you guys love my crafting, you'd want to get all of the staples that I enjoy because if you want to craft along with me, this is exactly what I will be using a lot of the times for bag toppers and happy mail. So um, so I did, I did use another collection for the doily piece and I also mixed and matched some collections here. So that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one and um, it's one of my longest ones for uh, craft with me videos. Um, I wanted to do a craft with me video because I haven't did one in so long and all I've been doing is sharing what I make. Hope you enjoyed this purse again. Scrap Diva Designs. Such I, this is did I show you so this is what I did with the wallet I put it right here I um, just use the box part of it and I added the liner top base piece and it becomes a oh, side pocket I just love it you could just add anything in here how did I have it I had these in here this way um, just for looks I'm gonna be taking pictures and so my pictures will come out um, very eye-catching. So we just add some florals in here and make it beautiful. So how pretty is that? So pretty. Hope you enjoyed this too. And um, if you do Happy Mail, this definitely is one of those boxes you want. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.